Okay, so we've got a practice problem here that's asking us to calculate plant-wide overhead rates and departmental overhead rates and compare the two. So I'll go ahead and read the problem here. It says Kettle Snacks makes potato chips, corn chips, and cheese puffs using three different production lines within the same manufacturing plant. Currently, Kettle uses a single plant-wide overhead rate to allocate its 3,315,000 of annual manufacturing overhead. Of this amount, 2,014,000 is associated with the potato chip line, 672,000 is associated with the corn chip line, and 629,000 is associated with the cheese puff line. Kettle's plant is currently running a total of 17,000 machine hours, 10,600 in the potato chip line, 3,000 in the corn chip line, and 3,400 in the cheese puff line. Kettle considers machine hours to be the cost driver of manufacturing overhead costs. Then it asks us to determine what is Kettle's plant-wide overhead rate, calculate the department overhead rates, and round to the nearest cent, and then which products have been overcosted by the plant-wide rate, which have been undercosted. Okay, so let's start with number one here, and it says what is Kettle's plant-wide uh, rate, overhead rate? So the first thing that we need to figure out is, again, what is our formula for calculating the plant-wide overhead rate. And if you recall, it's the total estimated manufacturing costs. And in this case, that's going to be 3,315,000. And divide it by the total estimated allocation base. Well, the allocation base that they mention in this particular problem is machine hours. And the company produces 17,000 machine hours. So we're going to go ahead and take the 3,315,000 divided by the 17,000 machine hours. And I'll go ahead and write that in here. So we've got our we've got our formula: three million three hundred fifteen thousand manufacturing overhead divided by the seventeen thousand machine hours. And if we do the math there, we should get one hundred and ninety-five dollars per machine hour. Okay, so that tells us our overhead plant ride rate. So we would be allocating. Um, based on machine hours. So in this case the potato chip line had 10,600 hours. We will multiply that times 195 to get the overhead applied to the potato chip line. So part two asks us to calculate the departmental overhead rates for the three production lines. Okay, so we essentially need to do the uh, very similar thing, only breaking it out by department in this particular example. So um, rather than me writing everything down and you won't be able to read what I write, I've started a little grid here. So we've got the potato chip department. It's the exact same formula that we did before. We take our total estimated overhead cost, we divide it by the machine hours allocated to that particular department to get a departmental overhead rate. So again, as you can see here, the potato chip cost was 2014000 and the number of hours associated with the potato chip line was $10,600. So if we take the 2000 2014000 divided by 10600 we should get an overhead rate of $190. Now that is a departmental overhead rate for potato chips. Let's do the same thing now. Let's go ahead and figure out for corn chips. Again, the overhead as it's stated in the problem is 629,000. Oh, sorry, wrong one. 629,000 was for the cheese puff line. Let's do the corn chips, 672,000. There we go. And the number of hours is 3,000 for the corn chip line. So if we go ahead and we do the 672,000 divided by the 3,000, we get $224 per hour. And cheese puffs, we'll go back and pick those up. Cheese puffs was 629,000 for 3,400 hours. So if that's the case, 629,000 divided by the 3,400 machine hours gives us 185. Okay, so we can see how that compares with the $195 machine hours that we calculated for number one. So if that is the case, then um, which products have been overcosted by the plant-wide rate? Well, the plant-wide rate would have charged $195 
See if I can get rid of that. $195 to the potato chips when it should have only been allocated $190. So $195 versus $190 means that we would have overcosted if we use the traditional plant-wide rate. We would have overcosted the potato chips. Now the corn chips would have been charged $195 per machine hour, yet the actual charge should have been 224 if we use the departmental rates. So they were undercosted. And again, we're comparing everything to the plant ride rate of 195. And in this case, the 185 is lower than the 195 plant wide rate, so it would have been overcosted again. That's it. Thanks.